Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee has stepped into the octagon. This time he wants to leave with that chip. He had chipped up. This greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. You guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has stepped inside the octagon once again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. So here he is, the youngest champion in UFC history. Another massive spot for Johnny Bones Jones. We'll see how he approaches the early going here. Nice mix of knockouts and submissions. Hard to find any sort of weakness thus far in the UFC career of one of the greatest of all time. Jones takes the center of the octagon. Down defense holds up. Nice technique on the side kick. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Now going upstairs with the left hook. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Jones. Oh, nice. Nice. him with the right hand there. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Just over three minutes now to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Johnny Bone. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. Nice front kick there. Straight left counter, that one will work. 
Well, John Jones showing you some of those new weapons here tonight. Mike Winklejohn is always fond of saying you don't see 30% of what Johnny Bones is able to do in the gym. And with every passing fight, he's starting to show you new wrinkles, new weapons in that arsenal. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, head kick lands now. Yep. Stuff to take down, no problem. All right, now a little separation between the two fighters. Nice. And in front kick there by Jones. Missed with that attempt. He gets to the single foul time. Look down the drive and leave his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. And he connects there. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, missed on that one. Well, the hands are up, but the double jab gets through. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Once again, they're in the clinch. Just out of range with the big right hand. Uh, oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the goal. Gets to the single collar tie. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Jones. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. 15 seconds to go. Great block there. Uh, Round two straight ahead. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do Round it. two on the way. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, beautiful entry on the takedown there by John Jones, and when his opponent gave him an opportunity, barged right through the door. Yeah, he took it. You know, anything that is presented to Jones, he will jump right on. He's a great striker. He's a great wrestler, and is on full display right now. Well, he's got his back now. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by Lee. Great job finding his shots from the top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. This pace is just absurd and he has kept it up throughout the... Oh, he's that guillotine. Yup, that guillotine's deep. over giving up that submission. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jones. 
Right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, you <laughs> can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, so, he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you can up on an elbow, right. you can be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Right to the knee on belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Jones is right back to the full mount here. Watch arm bar here. What a tight arm bar. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Lands the ground and pound strike. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Man, how good is this takedown defense tonight? Pretty good attempt offensively, but once again, the sprawl is there. Well, the wrestler's doing a good job of setting up his takedowns. He just can't finish. This guy's really good, man. And we knew this would be an even fight. But you are seeing the more well-rounded guy getting the job done tonight. Ten seconds to go in the round. Take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? You ready? Round three of a possible five. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, nice right hand by the Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. His uppercut is blocked. Leg kick lands. Nice hook. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Ooh. Leg kick 
kick lands. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long. And that one appeared to stop him. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go, get you gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. Now he's motivated to try to go and hurt you as you All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Right now, he seems lost to it. Put your hands up higher. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that job. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Oh, now the hook in the clinch finally. Punch no good. Jones's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. He's got that single collar tie locked in. That was a beautiful head kick. Ooh, big shot land. Misses with the left hook. Can't take any of those, you better check. Huge block there. Under a minute to go. And now some distance as they pull apart. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays after that round. And he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished yet. But if he keeps hit, getting hit there, it will be. And then everything becomes very difficult. So what he's got to do is he's got to move. He's got to be smarter in his approach in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now. But we will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. 
nice head kick. Good defense blocking that punch. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Jones gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing his kick over and over again. Oh, nice. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. This work, guys. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Clean with the right hook. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Jones is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Three minutes to go. Able to land there with the straight left. Nice level change with the wide shot. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Beautiful strike. Clinch position. Awesome separation. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh! Well, a lot of fighters say there's no worse feeling on fight night than when your cardio abandons you, and there's been a lot of output in this fight, but both of these men are absolutely guts. They both fought very hard, but after round one, you saw one guy's cardio, so good night, guys, and in the second round, you saw the other guy. Good night, guys. Now they're left with no cardio, and there's gonna be a question of will and determination, and that is gonna be who went to fight. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! There it is again. Back to his feet. Checks the leg kick. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. Oh! He's got to keep pressing here. One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Oh! He's got to move. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. 15 seconds. Jones's left leg is damaged now. Perhaps it was that last kick that did the damage, but you can see a clear lift that the fighter is dealing with right now. Massive oh. And then he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.